This channel is proudly sponsored by Tian Shang Lone Wolf Fists, a post-apocalyptic super-powered martial arts tabletop RPG. They are about to launch the Acid and Steel Kickstarter campaign. This is your chance to get both the core book and the expansion book in physical format. The expansion brings so many things to the table, such as robotic characters, damned heroes, the demonic asuras, bestiaries, lore, techniques, and many other things. You will find the link to the Kickstarter in the description and in the pinned comment. Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring Vilch. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review, featuring this body horror GMless game for 1-4 to four players, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about creating characters or creating a volunteer. When creating a volunteer, decide on a name and a backstory. If playing single player, use two or more volunteers. You roll two six-sided dice per skill and assign the results to your flesh, spike and crunch. Flesh is used for physical acts such as lifting heavy flesh or prying off a dangerous parasite. Spike is used for nerve-related acts such as finding a weak point to open a door or pinching the correct bit of meat to stop an organ. Crunch is used for melding acts such as making a weapon out of bone or tearing open an internal sphincter. When it comes to vigor and fatigue, you roll an amount of d6 equal to your flesh, multiply the result by 10, then split the total number any way you'd like between your vigor and fatigue. Fatigue is lost one per room moved to. Vigor is lost in other more visceral ways. If your vigor falls to zero, you are killed and must shred your volunteer card. If your fatigue falls to zero, you are knocked unconscious and must be dragged by another player to a safe rest area at the cost of two fatigue instead of one per room. If you are not moved to a safe area, you are killed. Unconscious player characters are able to make a rest action here in safe areas. If all players are knocked unconscious, you are all killed and must shred your volunteer cards. As you explore, your character will most likely change drastically. So get ready for this outcome. This concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about the parasites. As you can see, character creation is super simple, and it makes sense with the gritty and horrifying nature of this tabletop RPG. Death, or perhaps transformation, is quite common in this game. Thank you for watching this part of the review. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, consider joining as a member and enjoying exclusive tabletop RPG tips. You can also use the super thanks button and check out the pinned comment below. This has been Abraham El Jaguar, a professional game master. I am currently unavailable for professional sessions, but I will put my contact information in the description and in the pinned comment for when I am available again. And remember, in tabletop RPGs, it's not about what you want your characters to do, it's about what your characters are doing. Once again, thank you and see you later.